So good morning, friends. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Let's get this done, right? Welcome back to the channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. I hope that this is your awakening moment if you haven't already had it in the past 12 hours, okay? This is where we are. So I don't know if you watched the demonic rant uh, from last night and absorbed watching the uh, demonic atmosphere uh, in which it was being taken place. But guys, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna come out of the gate. I'm just going to uh, come out of the gate. You, me, we are in massive trouble. There, there, is, there is no other way to put it. If that scares you, if that doomsday you, I didn't do it. Watch last night. And if you have any common sense, whether you want to admit it openly in the public or not, you should be concerned beyond concerned. The agenda is Americans last. We've been talking about this. If you are not preparing, you better start today, okay? You better be telling everybody around you to be doing everything in their power to prepare, okay? What exactly is coming down the pike in terms of specifics, I don't know. If you're here with me, you already know it's not good, right? We are in massive trouble. This country is no longer in a position to be a sustainable country with the road that it is on. And everything that you are watching happen is deliberate. We, broken record, broken record. <clears throat> when you're blaming things from across the world for the problems here in America, no. When your top agenda is abortion, no. When you can't even get the names right of a poor girl literally murdered in the most brutal fashion by an illegal invader, although he did admit he was illegal. <laughs> See, they know the truth but they have to go with an agenda and it's all to come in and swoop in for massive control of you. You are the problem. Other leaders, other opposition to what you saw last night are not the problem. You, me, you're the problem. And if you agreed with last night, you're being used like a pawn. You can argue that all of us are being used like pawns one way or another. I don't disagree with you. So, I will tell you that I have only listened, uh, I have listened to only one response to this whole deal because I watched it myself. Um, I did listen and whether you like him or not, see this is the thing, you have to listen to what you don't like because you have to see things for yourself. Um, that is why I said I was watching. I wanted to see it for myself. I wanted to hear it for myself. I wanted to form my own opinions by myself and everything that we've talked about here, everything that I am doing with my family, everything that I'm telling you to do was completely validated again. Do you need me to tell you to prepare? Do you need Tucker Carlson to tell you to point out the, the highs and lows of last night? You need to see it for yourself. So I urge you to watch it again if you can. You're gonna get, it's gonna, it's incredible, but it was predictable because this is all they do. <clears throat> other countries we don't need to be there I do not support us being involved with anything outside of this country at this point because we are falling we're falling I know that there are individuals that do not like to hear that but you better face the music if we continue on the path that we are you have we none of us understand what's coming we, we, feed, we sit and talk about what they might do and what they're trying to do, but we don't understand what that would be like. We just, because it's a slow burn. It's the long game. So a little, little bite at a time. And a lot of people don't understand or know most of the things that are happening anyway, because they are too busy doing what? I don't know. I guess they're going and buying coffees and going to the beach. I don't know. Uh, I don't care. Uh, you know, I can't tell people what to do, but what I do care about is that they should be preparing. And all I can do and all you can do is continue to do that. They are spending you into an oblivion. 
okay? Not sustainable. They are purposely allowing illegals to completely take over the country. And some of you are going to say, how do you justify that? Well, I don't know. Look at New York right now. We are infiltrated with illegal invaders. And when you point it out, you're wrong for doing so. When you point out lawlessness in this country, you're wrong for doing that. Look at New York right now. Yeah. So how do you feel about the National Guard being involved all up in that right now? Now you can sit here and say, well, I don't care about New York. They can, no, no, no. You need to pay attention to New York. You need to pay attention to the test runs that are happening in front of your face. Okay. Just like if you go downtown to the University of Tennessee right now and you try to spend cash, you can't. My son, who goes to the University of Tennessee, he has to spend a card. It's all digital. It's a test run. You better be paying attention. You must listen to the words of these people. Not every day, because I understand. <laughs> we better be singing hymnals at this point and praying to God Almighty to help us. But you have to know what they are doing. And it's not just one or two people. It is all of them. I know some of you, I've seen a couple of you respond and say, uh, well, you could see what, uh, through the lies last night because, uh, you know, M Johnson back there was shaking his head. Well, what all is he doing right now? What is he supporting? Where is he sending our money to? So I'm going to strongly encourage you to find a way to listen to last night. If you have to listen it in two or three segments because it's so disgusting, totally agree. Okay, totally agree. But you got to finish it. Americans are last. Again, the economy is not strong. <laughs> People are hurting. And everything proposed was just an incredible clown show. I don't have all the answers. I don't think you have all the answers, but we have the main answers and it should be Americans first and America first. Okay, our people first, taking care of our people on the streets and that are hurting first. Not happening, not happening, not happening. Is your child really being taken care of? Well, if it's a confused child, they wanna push. The, why, why are we pushing all of these agendas? I'm not gonna form an opinion for you and I'm not trying to, I have my own, but Clearly, we want to talk about how we aren't reproducing, but they're doing everything in their in their power to ensure that you don't. And the and the likelihood of people that do, maybe white Christians, um, you know, how are they talked about? So, is this the type of leadership that you want? Is this what we want? As our is this what we want? I mean, are, 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 are you on the road to serfdom? So I'm really trying to be diplomatic as possible here, but there's nothing to be diplomatic about. Let me repeat myself shortly, short and sweet. You are in grave danger on multiple fronts. You have been lied to, you have been stolen from, you have been, been pimped out and manipulated. And that continues. Will it change in November? I have no idea. But they're setting you up to keep what's going on to continue to go on right now. No matter how much the other individual should win and how much support that person is getting, they're setting you up. So you have to ask yourself, so let's, so stop right there. What's going to come with that? Should that happen? Whether the the clown show of last night is the exact same person that will be put in place, because remember, we're just in March. We got a, we got a ways to go. There's a lot that can happen between now and November. Whoever is in that position that you saw last night, whether it's actually that person, if it even is that person, who knows what things are anymore. Um, it could be worse. So what does that mean to you? What what does that when you when you skim off the foam off of the off of the jam? I'm a canner, can you tell? 
when you skim it because you threw the butter in and you, you say no more nonsense I'm throwing the butter in and I'm skimming it off the top what does this leave me it means you better be preparing for anything possible you better be doing everything you can to be as financially set as possible and safe in your home safety the thing they don't want for you safety they have safety did you see the walls being put up all around last yesterday or it had been being put up that's right they're going to have their protection they're going to eat meat they're going to do all the, and they're going to have a wall right while they're asking you to send 60 billion 20 billion 100 billion, all these billions of dollars across the world supposedly to xanadu you are not protected anymore ask lakin riley's parents her name is lakin not lincoln so after we have skimmed this off and now you've got the, the jam you've got the strawberries or you've got the meat and potatoes you're down to the nitty-gritty what should this mean for you and me it means you better be preparing you don't have to go cruising for a bruising today because the bruising is already here and you're cruising for a harder one whether that comes today whether that comes right before the election whether that comes in january oh have you heard all the talk about all the potentials that could be even if this person gets elected what we're going to do in january we're we're in for it potentially i pray this doesn't happen i'm not for any of this i am not encouraging any type of violence or chaos of any sort i am not i tell you to be praying and to be peaceful and to be preparing because hell is here and it's amping up on its own and they want that for you. It's all going to come to a head one day. They're just telling you. They're just maybe hoping that you'll get a little more riled up for it. It's not a good place. This country has lost its way. We have turned our back on God. We have turned our back on our babies. I said that. You can leave if you can't take it. But I want to encourage you right now to take a deep breath hate my guts and go watch videos and look at pictures of the atrocities that have happened to our babies of all colors, of minorities, black babies, white babies, Native American babies. And they want you to continue to do it. Why? You want to talk about genocide. What about the babies? And what about the mothers that are left with that atrocity once it's done? I know women that have had abortions. I know what they live with. None of it's good. And if you are one of those women, I'm sorry. I know your heart, whether you admit it or not, is broken. And you can set the tone with God and pray. And there is help in that arena. But this is not all about that. They should not be encouraging people to just waste their lives on the streets, waste their lives not building a family and doing better as a country. None of this is good. None of it. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. So SHTF, in my personal opinion, is already here. Oh, it's definitely here. And it's, bo it's, it's boiling. You are the frog in the boiling water, as you've heard. So plan accordingly. Pray nonstop. Please hunker down hard. Do not be angry. Do not be stressed. Do not be worried. I know you say, Patera, how is that possible? What I'm telling you is to put all of that aside. And you better be preparing. You better be preparing all of your energy, all of your time with breaks, mental breaks. I get it. You better be getting everything right. Speak openly and honestly, but guys, you're running out of time. We're running out of time because they're just, it's just not letting up. And if one thing doesn't tip the domino, 
You've got 15,000 others waiting to do it. That's where we are. That's where we are. That's where we've been. But that is where we are. I don't have all the answers other than praying, prepping, and being peaceful. If somebody asks you about this, be open and honest with them. A lot of people are looking for leadership now. People are beginning to understand that they have been misguided and that they have been misled and that they are used and abused like a dirty old dish rag. Tell them, talk to them. But you get back to doing what you're doing as well. Help those in need. I could say so much more, but this will be the longest video you've ever seen on YouTube. And I think you guys out there, I honestly think this video to a point is a preaching to the choir. But even if you've kind of thought things would get better, <clears throat> or maybe if you thought things, you know, are, are just rolling along and you've been kind of doing this or doing that, I think this is your wake up call. This is your wake up call. This is it. God has provided you a wake up call. Last night was laid out in front of you exactly what is important, which is war, and, war, death, and destruction. War, death, and destruction. Do you think you're valued in that equation? No matter who you are, where you live, what color you are, north, south, east, west, and who have you voted for in the past? You're not in the club. I'm not in the club. They've told you. They've told you. And they've told your children too. I'm going to break. This was a very difficult, this is not a difficult video for me to make, but for me to keep my peace about it is hard. Because you and I both are watching the destruction of our country. And this has to stop. We have to come together. We have to be doing what we need to be doing. I'm going to get back to the barn and finishing my chores. I have another video coming up from yesterday about my great Pyrenees. There's good news there. And I'm praying for you. Please be praying so hard. This country has turned its back on God. We, the people, us, the people, must come together and bring it back. He's the only one that's going to help us, guys. No matter who we vote for, Jesus is our answer. And you know that already. But I'm going to continue to scream it from the top of the mountain. Because that is what God expects of me. I love you. Don't give up. Take a deep breath. Process what we've talked about. Process what you've seen. And if you haven't seen it... You need to see these things. I love you. Have a good Friday. I'll see you on the next video.